The Miami Dolphins have completed their off-season program up to training camp and preseason contests that will take place in July and August. Media members got a chance to see a number of practice sessions this summer with the Dolphins taking the field with many of their new weapons for the first time, with OTAs and minicamp behind us. It's a good time to reflect on what we learned during those sessions and look at where the team stands before they reconvene in just over a month. Here are a few takeaways from the Dolphins' off-season practices. 1. Connor Williams has a legitimate chance to be the starting center. When Williams was signed at the start of free agency nearly three months ago, it was expected that he'd slide in at left guard in Miami, the position where he played 95% of his snaps with the Dallas Cowboys. However, early in this process, he's been getting his opportunities at center, Williams has played center in preseason games but has never done so in a game that mattered in the NFL, Mike McDaniel has made it a point to say that they are trying not to pigeonhole guys into spots. But Williams has said that he's expecting to be snapping the ball to Tua Tagovailoa when the season starts. 2. Tua Tagovailoa has been inconsistent. If you've been anywhere near social media over the last month, you've seen the raging debates regarding Tagovailoa's performances at these sessions, the reality of the situation is that the former Crimson Tide quarterback has been up and down to this point. That's not necessarily a bad thing, considering the defense he's playing against and the fact that they're learning a new system on that side of the ball. Tagovailoa has a lot of pressure on him to perform this year, as he'll need to prove he deserves to start beyond 2022. 3. Austin Jackson appears to be moving to right tackle. In his two seasons, Jackson has played 54% of his snaps at left tackle and 46% at left guard. With the changes to the blocking scheme and the additions to the group, it appears that Jackson is making a flip to right tackle. It was expected to be a competition at the position between Jackson and Liam Eikenberg, and it still may be, but to this point, it seems like that's his spot. 4. Everyone loves the head coach. McDaniel's hiring back in February came as a bit of a surprise, as he was a relative unknown to most fans before his interview. Since then, coaches and players that he worked with at prior stops have had nothing but great things to say about McDaniel as a coach and person. At OTAs and minicamp, every time a Dolphins player spoke to the media, they echoed that same sentiment. Whether it's talk about the energy that he brings to practice or how honest he is with his guys. Everyone seems to appreciate McDaniel.